actually going to be using my stamp tool to fix this picture. So here is my original. Um, we've gone through and flipped the canvas already and we cropped it. And then I want to get rid of this light that's shining. And I tried the dodge tool, which normally we'll, work, we'll use for another one, and I didn't like it. Um, so what we're going to be doing instead is making a, using a stamp tool. You want to make sure your layer is um, not locked by, if you go into layers, and again, if you don't see your layers, make sure they're available here. Right now I have in my windows history, layers, timeline, tool presets. Um, I don't know what this one is. This one oh, I had along the bottom and just dragged to the top. You can drag and move these guys around. So you want to double click your lock to make sure your layer is workable. And then we're going to start using the stamp tool. So when I'm done, it's going to look like this. Is that even better? At least it got rid of the light, which is what I want to do. Hopefully if you have things that you want to get rid of, you can even cut out a whole person using the stamp tool. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, okay, so I've made it so that I can work on my layer. Here I was trying dodge tools and sponge tools and I didn't like it. I'm going through my history here. And then we're going to select the stamp tool. So the stamp tool is over here in your tool presets. It is a little stamp, clone stamp tool. If you hit control and click on here, you can have a clone stamp or a pattern stamp. We are choosing clone stamp. You're going to hit option, option or alt. And what that will do is it will select a part of your picture. And that's what we're cloning. And then if I, I've released the alt and I click over it, see how there's like a little cross? That is what I am coloring. So I am cloning that cross section over my burned in area here. So if I had a person I didn't like, or I didn't want in my picture, I could choose another area. Here I'm going to, again, hit Alt. I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna go from above, and I'm going to color in next to this person who's like burned in to get rid of that area. I'm gonna do the same over here. So I'm hitting Alt, and I'm going to select this space, which has a shadow, and I'm going to go in and color in my shadow to make it darker. I'm going to do it again. I'm selecting option, and I'm, I'm trying to get rid of this light that's shining in because I don't like it. So there I have selected alt. For this, the rest of the section, I'm going to do what is called the healing and a healing will get rid of spots and clean them up by just automatically looking at what is around it. So it's content aware, texture aware, proximity match. I'm gonna do proximity match, see if that one works better. So I'm going to just simply color in the areas that were light. I don't like that one. What the heck? Let me try again, because it's picking up next to it. It's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just coloring over you can barely see it, but I know it's there. There's like a lighter section. So I'm coloring over that to make it better. Let's see if I can work on this person. This is the last part. This person is very faded. I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm zooming out. No, I don't want it. Zoom in. Not out. Ah, there we go. And my tools are gonna go in. And here, we'll scroll down. So see my person's super faded. For them, I'm actually gonna use the burn tool. The burn tool is, um, it's actually a photography burning and dodging is something that you would do under a light when you were working in photography. So again, if you hit control and click on, there's a burge tool, a dawn tool, and a sponge tool. Burning means that you are exposing it more. So here I can select highlights, midtones. I'm gonna go into my midtones and I'm gonna try and make this person darker by essentially exposing them more, this whole area. The burn does make things kind of brown, as opposed to just having it be the color. 
I'm also going to go in again a little bit with my stamp tool now that I'm closer. I'm going to use my go back to my stamp tool. I'm going to and I'm going to put some bushes over here, a little bit over fill in these bushes. I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to fill in some bushes over here. There. So I've taken away that area of light which was bothering me. Magic. I'm going to hit my magnifying glass, hit control and fit on screen. So there my shining bright light is a little bit better. A little less burned in. To finish off this picture, again my crop was a little bit off so I'm going to make sure my crop fits. The colors are a little bit washed out, so I'm also going to go in to I want to change my colors here. Image adjustments. And I want to change my brightness and my contrast. It's a little bright. The picture is very bright, so I'm going to turn it a little bit down. Just a little. And up my contrast. Just a little bit. And I'm going to change my color as well. So, so what am I doing again? Layers adjustments. Type adjustments. I never remember where things are. Filter. It's got me in crop. Filter. I want to do all where where was it? What am I, I want to adjust my colors. Where'd it go? Seriously. New adjustment layer. I want to adjust my colors. View, window, no. 3D filter. It's not select. Okay, I'm going to select all my layers. And then how do I change it? Layer. Image. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. Okay, I'm going to, I'm supposed to be the expert here in Photoshop. Image is where I change my hue and saturation is like how colorful or if you want to take away a lot of the photos that um, Paulina liked were very desaturated. Um, so I like to saturate my stuff. So I'm going to up my saturation a little bit more. Again, down the lightness. I'm Even that light is starting to pop out again. So I'm going to go in again with my healing tool, see if I can get rid of that more. A little bit. No, that was bad. That looks better. Try and fade that out. That looks good. Cool, so there is my picture. Edited. 